Hi everyone, my name is Anita Ladhani. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and an energy practitioner. And I am so excited to do this video on EFT. It's the second video specifically on EFT and I'm really hoping to do um, as many as I need to so that all of you can learn this incredible um, self, uh, incredible modality uh, of learning to process and learn, uh, soothe your own emotions and learn to process your own stuff in the moment. So um, I did a video on EFT, I think it was last week, and uh, received quite a few um, messages from people literally around the world. Uh, and I love that people are using it, that's the point. Um, the more you use it, the better it gets, simple as that. Um, and what I've learned is that your body literally gets primed. So the more you use something, the easier your body responds. And this is not something that you're ever going to like, you know, use too much of. It doesn't exist. I think it's one of those tools that you cannot use enough. So EFT is something literally that you should be using every day uh, in, in different places. So let's do a quick recap of what EFT basic is. Uh, and then I will talk about the movie title technique, which is an advanced level technique. Okay. So EFT is emotional freedom technique, which is short form is known as tapping because you're literally tapping on different meridian points. So where did it come from? EFT is uh, a merge between Chinese acupressure and modern psychology. Uh, whoever discovered it, praise God, thank God, they've done over a hundred research studies uh, starting from Harvard, published in the best medical journals uh, across the country and across the world. So it's an evidence-based modality. So it gives it instant credibility because the stuff works. This is not energy juju, although it is energy work, but this is not like any woo-woo stuff. This is evidence-based stuff. You don't have to believe in it as long as you do it. It's physiology. As long as you do it, it works. Simple as that. But there's a process to it, like anything, right? So, um, so the basic thing is, you know, say you're feeling an emotion that's not, um, not something you want to feel. Uh, or you're confused about something or you're overwhelmed about something. So, uh, you know, when you when you have something that impacts you or kind of jars you, it doesn't even have to be anything severe. It can literally be someone, you know, said something to you and you're just kind of thrown back. Or if it could be something huge, could be where, you know, your marriage is falling apart or uh, and you don't know what decision to make. Or it could be where, you know, you're dealing with trauma and you don't know how to move through your day because you're stuck. Uh, could be PTSD, whatever the case might be. It could be mild, it could be serious. So for something everyday stuff that happens, what happens is when, you, when we go through um, something, you know, jarring, uh, our amygdala, our brain goes into fight, flight or freeze response. So we're not able to think clearly and react. Instead, we go into either we, we wanna attack back uh, we tend to either freeze and we're not sure what just happened. We're not able to think clearly or we go into um, flight. You know, we want to run away from there. And these are very instinct, uh, instinctual sort of, you know, things that we've done from our caveman days. And so when you tap on the different meridians, it releases the energy. It calms the amygdala, go, it allows the amygdala to go back to its normal state instead of the amygdala being on hyper alert where it's trying to determine you know which to do once you calm the amygdala down it's able to then actually think clearly and process stuff instead of react instead of re uh, reacting you're able to respond and things once the amygdala calms down um you're able to make decisions with some clarity instead of being emotionally charged so First thing is identify the emotion, right? So um, let's take anger, okay? So I I'm very angry right now. Okay, so the question to ask yourself is, on a scale of zero to 10, how angry do I feel? Zero meaning no anger at all, 10 meaning I'm extremely angry. Okay, so I'm at a four or five. Okay, great. Where in, in my body am I feeling this? Again, knowledge of self is power. The more information you know, the better you're able to determine where you feel these things. And also, when you feel a change after you've done a few rounds of tapping, what's changed? So I'm feeling it in my head or I'm feeling it in my head and in my, in my throat or my 
or in my back or in my stomach, wherever the case might be, right? And sometimes we're so angry or we're so emotionally charged that we're not even able to determine. Or sometimes if you're so disconnected from your body, you're not able to really figure out where you're feeling it because a lot of us are really disconnected from our body. And in that case, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Tapping is a very forgiving technique. So it's, you don't have to know exactly all the parts. So deep breath. So the first place is always to ground ourselves and to get yourself back in our body. So you take a few deep breaths in, right? So let's go. Again, another breath in. Couple deep breaths in. All right, so I'm going to start tapping. And the way you start tapping is the karate chop tap. This is your setup statement and your balancing statement. So your setup statement always starts with even though I feel whatever it is that you're feeling. And then your balancing statement is I completely and deeply love and accept myself or I deeply and completely love and accept myself, okay? There's a few other balancing statements that are available. This is the one I tend to use 99% of the time. Um, sometimes it has, it has happened. So I talked about um, when I went through my training and when the sexual abuse stuff that I had experienced as a child came up, I wasn't even able to say that I deeply and completely love and accept myself because I was in such a place that I wasn't even able to say that. And so the person who was working with me at the time had the wisdom to say, instead of saying, I deeply and completely love and accept myself, which I couldn't, literally the words wouldn't come out of my mouth. I was crying. I kind of froze. The person said, why don't you say, I'm learning to deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I was able to say that. And so we were able to finish and do the tapping. But uh, for the mild, simple stuff, even though is the setup statement, even though I feel angry and I feel it in my chest at a level four, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel angry, I feel it in my chest, and it's a level four, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. You're not gonna close your eyes for this if you possibly can. Leave it open, you know, you wanna stay engaged and you wanna be grounded in the moment as much as possible. So, deep breath in. Third time you say the setup statement and the balancing statement. Even though I feel angry, and I feel it out of four. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Okay, three times done. Take a deep breath in. Now there are 10 meridian points, including this one, okay? And the way I was taught and the way I want you to learn it is you start from the top of your head so you're not missing and you don't forget to tap on a specific point. The order really doesn't matter. It's much just so that you don't forget. So again, you stop, start at the top of the head Okay, and then now you're not saying even though, you're just saying what you're feeling. So, I'm feeling angry. And now you can actually talk about why you're angry, right? So, I'm feeling angry. You know, whatever the case might be. Someone said something to me or someone did something to me. Uh, whatever, right? I mean, I'm just literally making it up. No one did or said anything, but I'm just demonstrating. So, I'm feeling angry or I'm feeling betrayed or I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling hurt or whatever it is. Between the eyes, I'm feeling angry. And it's at a four, and it's in my, I forget what I said it was, in my chest. Side of the eyes, I'm feeling angry. And I'm feeling it at level four, and it's in my chest. Deep breath in. Under the eyes, I'm feeling angry, and it's a four in my chest. Under the nose, I'm feeling angry and I'm feeling it at a level four. It's in my chest. Deep breath in. Now, I just stop and take breaths when I feel like I'm not breathing, okay? But you don't have to uh, breathe after, take a breath after every um, tapping, but you can if you want. Next place is the chin. I feel angry at a four in my chest. The next meridian is you've got your shoulder blades, you come down and out and tap. I feel angry, it's at a four in my chest. Deep breath in. 
the next place is right here. So you can do both sides or you can do one side. It doesn't matter. And with any of these, like I've said before, you can do just one side or two sides because your body literally is mirror images and you're going to get the same benefit whether you tap on one side or you tap on two sides. Okay. So again, right here. Okay. I'm feeling angry. It's a four in my chest. Deep breath in. So the last meridian, and I've established this, this is a new uh, gamut point that was, that was discovered in which is what I was taught. I've talked to other people and I've seen other YouTube videos and this is not it. They do the tips, they do other parts. These are the 10 that I've learned that I've used with my you know hundreds of clients and patients and it works. So this is what I would recommend. If other stuff works for you, please do that. That's fine. Between these two fingers right here, this is called the gamut point, okay? I feel angry. It's a four in my chest. Okay, deep breath in. All right, so now I'm going to check. Am I still feeling angry at a level four? Has it gone up? Has it gone down? Okay. Okay, I'm feeling pretty calm. So it's, I would say it's gone down to a one. Great. Done. I don't need to tap anymore. Um, I can probably tap one more and bring it down to a zero. If it goes up, then I would say tap on it again. Tap on it again. But stick to a specific emotion. Now, this works if it's zero to five. Okay? Because it's something, it's, if it's zero to five, it's usually one emotion that you're feeling. And it's intense, but it's not that intense. If you feel an emotion and it's on a scale of zero to 10, if it's a six or up, um, then you know that there's usually other emotions going on with it, right? So for example, if I say I'm feeling angry at a nine, okay, chances are that with the anger, I'm also feeling rejected. I might be feeling betrayed. I might be feeling annoyed. I might be feeling maybe guilty. I might be feeling hurt. I might be feeling sad. You know, it's a bunch of different emotions. If it's a higher emotional, then not always, but that tends to be, you know, true for people. So if it's a higher level, then say, okay, what else am I feeling? Now, if you're able to do that for yourself, wonderful. If you're not, say, okay, I know I'm feeling a bunch of stuff. And if, and then you say, okay, now the next, so the movie title technique comes into play if it's on a scale of zero to 10, if it's six and higher. And the way the, the way the movie title technique works is that you say to yourself, or I say to a client, you know, all right, so if someone was to make a movie of what I'm experiencing right now, what would be the title of that movie? Now, the, the reason you do this is because that title summarizes all the movie, oh, I'm sorry, all the emotions that you're feeling. And so then when you tap on the title, you're tapping on all the emotions because your subconscious knows what everything is. So that's why you do the movie title technique. Another reason you do the movie title technique is sometimes when we're in the throes of all these emotions, you're not thinking clearly and you need to distance yourself away from your emotions a little bit. And so it helps to kind of visualize it, right? So then the next step is, all right, so my movie title technique is, you know, how dare she, okay? That's my movie title technique. And in my mind, if that's, and again, it doesn't matter what it is. The idea is that whatever your subconscious comes up, whatever you come up with, your subconscious is going to accept and understand that that movie title summarizes all the emotions you're feeling. So you go, okay, imagine that I'm standing outside my favorite movie theater and outside, you know, the old fashioned movie, th movie theaters where you had the bright white marquee lights. Okay. So imagine that you've got that title, how dare she up there, right? So then you go, okay, how far am I standing from it? I'm right underneath it. All right. If I'm right underneath it, how does it make me feel to look at the title? Pretty intense. Yeah, because you're standing right underneath it. Well, would it help if I am maybe across the street looking from looking at it? And sometimes the distance mentally, you're like, okay, that feels a little better. Or sometimes if it's really traumatic, this is where it helps if you're working with someone, but I'm giving you this title, uh, this technique anyways, because I know many of you are practitioners 
I know many of you are very smart and so why not, right? I don't think that you need to necessarily reach out to me if you can do this and help yourself uh, or reach out to another therapist. So the movie title technique. So even if you don't do that step, as long as you have a movie title and you go, all right, I have a movie title. It's at a level eight. I know all the emotions that I'm feeling with it. And the movie title is How Dare She? So here we go. We're going to start tapping, but let's take a deep breath in to, again, get ourselves grounded and in our body. So deep breath in. Again, one more breath. Okay, tapping. Even though I have this movie title called How Dare She? I completely and deeply love and accept myself. Even though I have this movie title, How Dare She? And sometimes I'll say things like, and I know what it means to me, and I know how it makes me feel. I still completely and deeply love and accept myself. Third time, even though I have this movie title, How Dare She? And I know what that title means to me, and I know how it makes me feel. I still deeply and completely love and accept myself. Okay, deep breath in. Top of the head, I have this movie title, how dare she? And I know what it's about, and I know how it makes me feel. I have this movie title, How Dare She? And I know what it's about, and I know how it makes me feel. I have this movie title, How Dare She? I know what it's about, and I know exactly how it makes me feel. Deep breath in. I have this movie title, How Dare She? I know what it's about, and I know how it makes me feel. I have this movie title, How Dare She? I know what it's about and I know how it makes me feel. And if you feel safe and you're fine, by this time you can probably say, it makes me feel angry, it makes me feel betrayed, it makes me feel sad, it makes me feel infuriated, it makes me feel frustrated, it makes me feel used, it makes me feel foolish, whatever it is. I have this movie title, How Dare She? And I know exactly how it makes me feel and I know exactly what it's about. Deep breath in. I have this movie title, How Dare She? And I know exactly what it's about and I know exactly how it makes me feel. And I feel angry, I feel frustrated, I feel sad, I feel betrayed. Whatever it is that I'm feeling, right? Because like I said, if it's usually, if it's six or higher, there's usually multiple emotions attached to it. Deep breath in. I have a movie title, How Dare She? And sometimes that's enough because your subconscious knows what it's about. The beautiful thing about the movie title, the beautiful thing about tapping is that you don't even need to get into detail, especially if it's something traumatic, because the idea is to just take the charge out of the emotion. You're not going to, um, let's finish this. Okay, we did this and the last one is this. I have this movie title, How Dare She? Okay, deep breath in. All right, so let's think about the movie title or if you're actually going to do the step where you're visualizing it. All right, let's look at it. Does it still feel at a level eight or has it gone down? Usually, hopefully, if you've done it and it, it you've gone down. All right, so it's gone down. How do you know it's gone down? Well, because the tightness in my chest is lighter. Maybe it's not as intense or some people will say, well, that's just the number that came up. So I'm assuming that's where I'm at. Trust your gut, trust your intuition, trust your feelings. And again, tap on it again, tap on it again. But when you're tapping on it, stick to whatever the emotion is because a lot of times other stuff will come up. Great, acknowledge it, maybe write it down and then do more tapping rounds on that. Now, you don't have to tap for more than, you know, 10, 15 taps, if that. There's no, it's, it's not like the more you tap, the more you're gonna release. I mean, just tap and breathe. And like I was saying, sometimes, you know, I've worked with people that are so charged that they can't even think or they can't even talk because they're so emotional. And in that case, all you do is tap and breathe, tap and breathe. That's fine. Because just tapping and breathing, it takes the charge out of the emotions. It calms your body down. It releases the energy trapped in the different meridians. And then maybe if you've done a few rounds of tapping, Tap and breathe. And again, like I've said, you know, when I'm sitting, I've been in situations where, you know, 
I've, it's been really, um, you know, hurtful or it's been really, you know, whatever. I've been feeling very strong emotions and I couldn't say anything. And so all literally I did was I was, as the person was talking, I'm literally sitting there tapping and breathing, tapping and breathing. And I mean, sometimes, you know, I said what I, if I, if I was clear on what I was feeling, then I would say it. But otherwise I'm just literally tapping and breathing, tapping and breathing. Now, if you are someone or you want to work with someone who speaks, does not speak English fluently, I've done this with people uh, who speak only Hindi or Gujarati and were of is of Ismaili or Muslims or whatever, right? And it doesn't matter. So instead of that script, even though what I've said, what I've said to them in Hindi or Gujarati, I've said, you know, um, what did I say? How did I do this? Um, Oh, I said, I didn't say even though. I said, Mujhe bahut gabraat hoti hai. Ya mujhe bahut dar lag raha hai. Ya mujhe bahut bechani ho rahi hai. You know, whatever it is, right? And then the balancing statement was, Main to bhi main mola ko shukhar mola bolti ho. To bhi main shukhar mola bolti ho. To bhi main shukhar Allah karti ho. To bhi main, to bhi main shukhar Allah bolti ho. To bhi main khush ho. Right? The balancing statement is what you want. So I've done this with, you know, one of my... um clients that I was working with in India and the girl the woman doesn't speak English so I've had to adapt uh, my script and so basically I came up with you know and she suffers from depression depression and anxiety so we've said you know um whatever pick one you know yeah or the the balancing of the balancing statement was you know uh, you know, um, I feel alone. I feel alone. I feel alone. I feel alone. The other one was, I feel alone. I feel alone. You know, you'll say a statement. We, we came up with stuff that was um, relevant in the moment. And believe it or not, it worked. The woman ended up feeling better. And I was literally just kind of trying things out, you know, because the idea was to just be of service to her, right? So, anyways, I hope this has been helpful. I'm tapping as I'm doing it. Um, there was something else I was saying, and I can't remember. Um, all right, deep breath in. The more you do it, the better it gets. Again, the idea is to learn a tool. I wish my, my dream is that everyone who's watching this video or not watching this video, that everyone that, you know, in the world knows how to tap. It's a simple safe, quick, and easy way to manage your emotions because our emotions are the reasons why we end up getting in trouble. We say things we don't mean or we make decisions that we don't, we're not thinking clearly on. But when you tap and you calm and you regulate your own emotions, we're all happier, calmer, more peaceful human beings and then that makes a peaceful world. Anyways, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please, feel, please feel free to comment uh, and ask questions, inbox me. And uh, as always, um, my recommendation is that, you know, use it, use it, use it. Um, I don't have a script for this. I will type something up in the next, probably tomorrow, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll upload it. Um, if you have traumatic stuff that you're working with, this stuff works great for PTSD, works great for depression, anxiety, grief. Um, it works great even for physical ailments, um, aches and pains, you know, uh, vertigo, uh, other stuff. I was talking to somebody uh, earlier today that was using it for vertigo. But because the vertigo was not just uh, coming from a place of physical issues, that's what she was told. It was something emotional was causing it. So again, always consult your doctor to make sure you're ruling out medical issues. If you do have medical stuff going on, don't just assume that it's emotional because we do have a body and with it comes, comes the limitation. So make sure you're respecting and going to a doctor and getting, you know, your body looked at and treated and sure, tap on it in the meantime. Um, with that, love and light, take care and God bless.